free material that can be reused or recycled for another application within or outside the companies right this is a modification of the waste right now the next one which is the recover okay so the resource recovery is the process of uh, taking a discarded item for a specific next use right so this discarded item are then proceed to extract or recover material and resource to convert them into or uh, have into to the energy in form of the usable heat electricity or food so recover it means that resource to the waste to the resource right recover it means that the waste which is converted into the resources right the next one which is the treatment okay so the waste is treated treated prior to dispose disposal to reduce the hazardous nature clinical waste then regulated waste or stabilized organic waste it means a treatment okay there are lots of detailed treat treatment for the waste physical treatment and chemical treatment okay organic treatment and etc now the last one which is the dispose of waste it means that it is a, a for those things that cannot be reduced reuse or recycle so we ensure that they are disposed of the responsibility right so we are currently working on a process to allow for a safe disposal of the batteries and mobile phones and etc okay now the next one which is the management of the industrial air pollution okay so uh, this topic which is the industrial air pollution management system so the best uh, the first one which is the objective okay so which is an air pollution manager of the air pollution control system is to ensure that excessive concentration of air pollution air pollutant do not reach a susceptible uh, target okay susceptible target so the target could include the people plant animals and materials okay so in all cases we should concern with the most sensitive of each of this group so the air pollutant could include the gases vapor aerosol and in some cases uh, biohazard okay so a well designed system will prevent the target from receiving a harmful concentration of the pollutant and the most our pollution control system involve the combination of the several control technique usually combination of technological control and the administrative control and the large or more complex sources there may be more than one type of the technological control okay now the ideally the selection of of the appropriate control will be made in the context of the problem to be solved first of all what is emitted in what concentration and what are the targets what are the most susceptible target then what are the acceptable short term exposure levels then what are the acceptable long term exposure levels then what combination of control must be selected to ensure that the short term and long term exposure level are not exceeded okay so these all are the some question which is coming comes in our mind by the uh, at the management level right now the next one which is the steps in selecting pollution control the first one which is the define emission it means that this is a first part to determine what will be released from this stack okay all the potentially harmful emission must be listed the second part is to eliminate how much of each material will be reused so without this information the manager cannot begin the design a control program right okay now the second step which is the define the target group it means that uh, all susceptible target should be identified after that this include the people animal plant and material in each case the most susceptible member of each group must be identified for example uh, asthmatics near a plant that emit a isodines right then step 3 which is determine the acceptable exposure level means that an acceptable level of the exposure for the most sensitive target group must be established if the pollutant is a material that has cumulative effect such as a carcinogen 
then long term exposure level annual must be set okay so the if allergen has a short term effect such as a irritant or a sensitizer or short term perhaps a peak exposure level must be set okay so this means a determine the acceptable exposure level okay and the step four which is select the control technique okay so the in step one identify the emissions first we identify the emission and in step three we determine the acceptable level okay so in this step each pollutant is checked to ensure that it does not exceed the acceptable level and if the it exceeds the acceptable level so the additional control must be needed okay so the exposure level check again this process continue until will uh, ex all the exposure are uh, at or below the acceptable level right so the dispersion modeling can be used to estimate the exposure for a new plant or a test alternative solution for existing facilities right so this is the various steps in selecting the pollutant pollution control the first one which is we define first of all we define the emission right uh, it means that to determine what will be released from this stack okay then the second one which is to define the target group it means that uh, first of all it uh, should be target should be the identified right okay then step 3 it means that determine the acceptable exposure level it means that it is a less a less exposure level than a, a short term or long term exposure level right and the last four which is the select the control right for example if we identify the emission then determine the accepted level so in this search that in such a time the pollutant is checked to ensure that it is not exceed the acceptance level if there are exceed the acceptance level then we select the select the another control for this particular pollutant okay so this is the uh, steps in selecting the pollution control right so this is all about the today's lecture uh, in today's lecture we discuss the uh, various the manage or uh, industrial air pollution management system right i hope you all understood about the today's lecture thank you for the watching thank you